TeaBot is a robot that whips up customized cups of grab-and-go loose-leaf tea. An automated kiosk allows customers to select from thousands of combinations of tea flavors from a smartphone app or tablet, and then get a hot brew in under 30 seconds. The startup launched in Toronto two years ago and is now in the current batch of Y Combinator. I went to Palo Alto's Coupa Cafe to see how TeaBot makes each unique blend. So what TeaBot is is an automated machine that makes custom cups of loose leaf tea for the grab and go market. Uh -huh. It's allow users to quickly and conveniently get a great cup of tea, a great beverage in under 30 seconds. Wow, so and you have all sorts of different kinds of tea in here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can, we, can we try some? Yeah, let's go make your blend. Okay. So what we have to do first is you grab a cup uh -huh. and you can place it inside the machine. Okay. And we get going. From the menu here, you can see that we have two options that you can go down, the popular blends and create your own. So if you tap popular blends, okay. these are blends that we've curated based off of what users are making. We call it peer curated, so it's recommended by the people. Uh -huh. We've had over 5,000 interactions with our machines, so we're able to track what people are drinking what they like. So if you touch one of these, you can actually customize the existing ones. Okay, so you can do this and you can also mix in something else. Yeah, so this is the popular blend. So this is what people are drinking, and you can still adjust it to change it if you're a person who likes a little more strawberry, a little less. Oh, I see. Um, but what's really fun and what we encourage people to do is also just have fun with it by going to Back. create your own. Okay. Yeah. And there you get to pick from one of the 18 different ingredients. Oh, wow. Which can make over 10,000 unique blends when you mix three of them together. Just in these 18 different ingredients. Yeah. Okay. I really yeah. like rubis, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and I like strawberry, so that's cool. good. So I'm going to go with the peppermint as well. That's cool. Yeah, that sounds really awesome. Good. Okay. So if you hit next. Okay. We're good to go. Okay. Uh, so you can now just adjust your ratios. You like more strawberry, a little less strawberry, up to you. I have no idea, so I'm gonna let the robot choose for me. Yeah, so that's the, set of recommended, uh, that's the recommended settings, as well as the temperature for your cup of tea. Smell so the strawberry and the mint in there. <laughs> and you have plans to expand. You're Toronto-based, you're expanding in the US. Yeah, so we're also testing the, the really tech-savvy market here in the Silicon Valley and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of similarities in culture as well. I know very diverse demographic of people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little cooler as well, so it's a great place for hot cup of tea. Yeah, um, some people are putting butter in their tea. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I okay. think eventually we're going to find a way to put that in here and it'll okay. drop it wow. out. Wow, so really? Next, yeah, this is still kind of an early stage of design. We're going to actually integrate rock sugar, granulated honey, so that it sweetens it. Everything's done right before, so it's a complete spoiled experience for the user. And how does, how, what's the business model? You're putting this in here, you're also putting it in the mall in SF. What, what do you plan to do with this? Uh, we're actually focused on university campuses and cafes right now, and how we do it is that we, we do a revenue share with our partners. Uh -huh. We don't want them to invest the money in the capital because that's the tech that we're focused on, uh -huh. and we're going to continually upgrade and offer new features for consumers. So you own the kiosk, yeah. and then they get a percentage of the revenue. And that's it, yeah. So that's really low risk. It's a turnkey tea solution. You don't have to deal with training, supply, inventory, all that's done by us. Uh -huh. Really, we just need 10 square feet, and we're giving them a really competitive tea program in a market where loose leaf tea is really emerging as a grab and go category. And you've been around for how long? About a year now. About a year now, and you are now in Y Combinator. Yes, we are, yeah. As well, and is that what brought you to San Francisco? Yeah, that's exactly what brought us. So we're really excited and humbled, actually. Uh, we're at the stage where we need to grow rapidly and figure out a good expansion strategy, how to build the business out, and Y Combinator is the perfect place for that. It's high pressure, high deliverables, and that's where we're at right now. And so mm -hmm. we're trying to you know, secure more more opportunities beyond the university campuses that we have mm -hmm. and figure out what other avenues of revenue opportunities for this machine to develop. Will you ever let other people own and operate the kiosk kind of like they do with like gumball machines or Coca-Cola machines, things like that? Yeah, maybe down the line, but right now we want to make sure we understand our technology and how it works. So we're going to own it ourselves and we'll actually partner with uh, service contractors down the line to help service the machines. But realistically, the only way to make sure that this experience is top tier is to kind of have control over it and make sure that's the right product, it's the right app upgrade, it's the right generation of uh, technology. Oh, well, thank you so cool. much. No worries. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers.